The Day of Club Culture is initiated by the Cultural Senate with the help of the Music Board Berlin and executed by the Club Commission about highlighting the cultural value in club culture and the value for the city. I mean, we have over 40 different uh, spaces open, collectives doing events in very different art disciplines, everything brought together. I came to Berlin on a research fellowship because Berlin's history with club culture, of course, and also its relationship to policy um, and club culture is a really special one worldwide. So Berlin Club Commission is the oldest form of nighttime governance or a night mayor um, in the world. This event is a really beautiful expression of using government funding and visibility and, and honoring of club culture to support what's already going on at the grassroots um, and honoring all these different collectives and these clubs that make Berlin's club culture so special. We created this idea already before the pandemic. The Cultural Senate said, okay, maybe now is not the right time. We keep it there. We will look at it later. And then the pandemic hit and we again came together and then they said, okay, it's the momentum now and that's exactly what we need, you know, and it's a very good way to allocate money and to appreciate people who really need it in a very existential crisis. That was what the people and the actors of Berlin Club Culture were facing back in the last year in October still. For the past year and a half, I have been working as a co-editor on the Global Nighttime Recovery Plan, which has been a very participatory, collaborative series of chapters about how nightlife can come back, not just as business as usual, but come back different and better. My name's Bloomfeld. Primarily, I'm a producer, DJ. I run an imprint called Overthink I'm All This, meant to instigate some change about the headaches that we have in the music industry, particularly the headaches that my black peers or other marginalized communities in this bigger community or scene have at the minute. Culture is the mediator to society. Giving awareness to this culture uh, by dedicating a day of the year gives respect to this valuable incubator that we have for our culture. When we look back on where club culture in Berlin came from or where it really got space, it was back then when the wall went down and it was the reunification of East and West in Berlin and we had a lot of free spaces, abandoned houses we could use and reform to club spaces. It's a very essential point in history of club culture in that city. So it again makes totally sense to put it on this day. To bring everything together on the German Unification Day and celebrate the Day of Club Culture because this is what club culture for us is about. Being together, diversity, a reunion of everything. couple really important um, policy court cases and changes in building law that have kind of enshrined club culture as culture um, in really important tax and planning and policy ways just in the past year. And so those things are really special and really valuable signs that this city sees club culture as culture, as important parts of a thriving city. But at the same time, um, Berlin is gentrifying, like so many other cities around the world. And a lot of the framework conditions that existed back in the 90s are very, very different now. And so there are many little factors that make clubs' lives and existence in the city precarious. Heute, das heißt der 3. Oktober 2021, der Tag, an dem wir uns entschieden haben, der Subkultur und nicht dem Deutschsein einen Raum geben zu wollen. Und deswegen ist es umso wichtiger, dass wir heute zusammenzukommen, um sichtbar zu sein, um laut zu sein, 
und ähm, um einzutreten für die Belange unserer Subkultur. Man kann eigentlich sagen, dass es, glaube ich, ähm, auf jeden Fall eine sehr krasse Rave-Kultur in Berlin natürlich gab, was ja irgendwie alle wissen. Aber es ist auch so ein bisschen eingeschlafen eigentlich. Und wir haben, ich würde sagen, wir sind mit dabei, das so wiederzubeleben. Zumindest ist es das Ziel, aber es ist, denke ich, wird, es wird natürlich schwerer, Räume zu finden. Deswegen sind wir heute auch hier. Ne? Das ist ein Grund, warum wir uns hier angeschlossen haben. Das ist nicht unsere Demo, aber ähm, wir machen da auf jeden Fall mit. So, when I was younger, like as a teenager, starting to go out, there was uh, more diversity in the club scene and now everything is closed and also like I started working with my collective in 2016 and it's been always so hard to find spaces that we can either afford that are not illegal so we don't get problems with the cops. So the city is in the process of being sold out. We are like super afraid that we once will end up like cities like London, Barcelona and when we don't stop this development we will get there. It's just over a week now that we had elections for the Berlin government. We still don't know which party will lead the Cultural Senate. And of course this will or could change the reality of our work and all the projects like the Day of Club Culture as well. I think what's so special about Berlin is that there are these efforts and there is this willingness to have a conversation that other cities can also learn from. It's not being in competition with other collectives to get spaces, but I feel like we all have to work together to keep pop culture alive. There's already like people working together and seeing that these people are reaching out and there's like a new community and a new collaboratism that made me really happy and excited for the future. I'm excited about what's to come, and I'm excited that there is such a robust discussion about this, and also a reflection on how clubs maybe do play a role in gentrification, can fall victim to, and also can amplify that. This is something we have to preserve. It's very important to have a lot of days of club culture. Yeah.